A clogged nozzle is generally caused by particulate that is too large to pass through the nozzle and becomes stuck. A clogged nozzle can cause the ultra high pressure water to back up into the abrasive feeding tube. If you notice a slurry coming out of the abrasive relief valve, shut the system down to correct the problem. An abrasive line clog is different from a clogged nozzle. An abrasive clog could occur when moisture contaminates the dry abrasive before it is mixed with the ultra high pressure water stream. A clogged nozzle is one way an abrasive clog is created. When a water abrasive slurry backs up into the abrasive supply tubing, all affected parts must be disassembled, cleaned, and thoroughly dried. Turn off the intensifier pump and bleed all pressure from the system. Turn off the abrasive delivery system. Loosen the compression cap by hand. Remove the compression cap, nozzle, and compression collar. Reverse the nozzle and reinsert it into the abrasive jet, making sure the end of the nozzle bottoms out on the mixing chamber. Tighten the compression cap by hand. Ensure the abrasive inlet is oriented in a safe direction. Adjust if needed. Turn on the intensifier pump to high pressure. With the abrasive flow turned off, apply one second bursts of high pressure water. On the initial burst, high pressure water will leave the abrasive inlet fitting. The nozzle is cleared when high pressure water exits the nozzle. If the ultra high pressure water does not clear the clogged nozzle, the water pressure can eject the nozzle from the abrasive jet causing it to become a projectile. If this process does not clear the nozzle, it must be replaced. 